In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on February 28, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Indiana Pacers vs. Dallas Mavericks This Tuesday, the Indiana Pacers will travel to Dallas to take on the Dallas Mavericks. Tip-off will be inside the American Airlines Center. This will be the first meeting between these two teams this regular season, as I am expecting a battle in this one. The Indiana Pacers are coming into this one after taking down the Orlando Magic, 121-108. They look great on the offensive end of the court, as they will have to stay efficient in this one if they want to take down the Mavericks on the road. The Dallas Mavericks are entering this game after falling to the Los Angeles Lakers. They look terrible in the second half, as they will have to heat up on both ends of the court if they want to take care of business at home. The Indiana Pacers have been in a major slump as they've lost 10 of their last 13 games overall, but they will be eager to build some momentum after taking down the Magic in a 121-108 upset road win on Saturday. Miles Turner led the team with 24 points on 11 of 19 shooting. Benedict Matherin added 19 points. Jordan Enwara scored 18 points with 8 rebounds and 6 assists while Tyrese Halliburton chipped in with 15 points and 14 assists. As a team, the Pacers shot 48% from the field and 15 of 40 from the three-point line as they wrestled with the Magic in a tightly contested first half before they exploded for 70 points in the second half to pull off the much-needed victory on the road. Meanwhile, the Dallas Mavericks have been in a bit of a rut as they've lost four of their last five games overall and they will be hoping for a better result after coming up short against the Lakers in a 111-1 108 loss on Sunday. Luka Doncic led the team with 26 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists. Kyrie Irving added 21 points with 11 rebounds and 5 assists while Tim Hardaway Jr. chipped in with 17 points off the bench. As a team, the Mavericks shot just 41% from the field and 20 of 49 from the 3-point line as they jumped all over the Mavericks from the start to build a 27-point lead, but they lost focus and let the Lakers back into the contest which cost them in the end as the Lakers closed the final two on a 9-5 run to steal the game in a tight finish. The Pacers are 2-8 against the spread in their last 10 road games and 5-2 against the spread in their last 7 games playing on 2 days rest. The Mavericks are 2-5 against the spread in their last 7 home games and 1-4 against the spread in their last 5 games overall. The over is 6-1 in Pacers' last 7 Tuesday games. The over is 4-1 in Mavericks' last 5 Tuesday games. The over is 7-2 in the last 9 meetings in Dallas. The Pacers are a little shorthanded again as Kendall Brown is ruled out, while the Mavericks will again be missing Maxi Kleber and Davis Burtons. The Pacers have been mired in their worst slump of the season, but they were able to snap out of it with a much-needed win over the Magic on Saturday. The Mavericks have struggled despite the acquisition of Kyrie Irving and they will be kicking themselves after squandering a 27-point lead in a bad loss to the Lakers on Sunday. The Dallas Mavericks have the ability to blow the doors off anybody when they play to their potential, and the Pacers have been awful over the last month. Still, the Mavs are still trying to figure things out with their new backcourt, and them blowing a massive lead to the Lakers doesn't help. I'd be all over the Mavericks if they were playing just a little better, but they are still a work in progress and I believe that the Pacers can ambush them in this one if they're not careful. Until the Mavs get their act together, I'll be fading them in the big favorite roles. So the Indiana Pacers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Dallas will play with a chip on their shoulder and will be playing at a faster pace as the Mavericks look to make a statement after the collapse. This season, Dallas is 34-28 in hitting the over while being 18-13 in hitting the over at home. Indiana, meanwhile, is 29-32-2 in hitting the over but after a win, the Pacers are 15-10-1 in hitting the over. As well, Indiana is playing at a pace of 103.6 which ranks 6th while their defensive efficiency ranks 26th. Dallas, meanwhile, is playing at a pace of 90 
98.1, which does rank 29, but their offensive efficiency ranks 5th as the Mavs make the most of their possessions and will do it against this bad Pacers defense. Finally, in Indiana's last five games, the games are averaging 244 points per game, while Dallas' last 10 are averaging 242 points per game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. San Antonio Spurs vs. Utah Jazz, a pair of old Midwest division rivals take the floor in a battle of Western Conference teams in the Beehive State. The San Antonio Spurs are on the road as they play the second game of a two-game road set with the Utah Jazz Tuesday night. These teams met on Saturday night with the Jazz taking a 118-102 home victory to square the season series at a game apiece. In the all-time regular season series between the teams, the Spurs own a 111-89 advantage but the Jazz have won six of the last nine meetings heading into this contest. The San Antonio Spurs have been in dreadful form as they've lost 21 of their last 22 games overall and they will be hoping to put a halt to a 16-game losing streak after getting routed by the Jazz in a 118-102 road loss on Saturday. Jeremy Sajan led the team with 22 points, Keldon Johnson added 18 points while Zach Collins chipped in with 15 points. As a team, the Spurs shot 39% from the field and 9 of 34 from the three-point line as they poured in 65 points points in the first half to jump out to a 14-point lead, but it was like a different team showed up in the second half where the Jazz dominated by 63-37 to to blow the Spurs away in the end. Meanwhile, the Utah Jazz are starting to build some momentum with four wins in their past six games and they will be aiming for a third straight victory after taking down the lowly Spurs on Saturday. Lori Markin and led the team with 27 points on 9 of 17 shooting, Kendrick Nunn added 15 points seven rebounds and eight assists off the bench while Achai Agbaji chipped in with 14 points off the bench. As a team, the Jazz shot 46% from the field and 10 of 28 from the three-point line as they allowed the Spurs to jump out to a quick start, but they turned the momentum with a 30-14 third quarter before they poured in 33 points in the fourth quarter to pull away late. Looking at the betting trends, the Spurs are 7-21 against the spread in their last 28 road games, 1-7 against the spread in their last eight games following a loss of more than 10 points and 5 to 16 against the spread in their last 21 games overall. The Jazz are 1 to 3 to 1 against the spread in their last 5 home games, 4 to 0 against the spread in their last 4 games against a team with a losing record and 4 to 0 to 2 against the spread in their last 6 games overall. Head to head, the Spurs are 1 to 4 against the spread in the last 5 meetings in Utah and the Spurs are 4 to 1 against the spread in the last 5 meetings overall. The Spurs will again be shorthanded as Romeo Langford, Devin Vasso and Kim Birch are all out and they are keeping an eye on Tree Jones who is questionable, while the Jazz will be without key players Colin Sexton and Jordan Clarkson once again. The Spurs are on a terrible losing skid and their time to snap was on Saturday when the Jazz struggled early on, but the Spurs had a collapse in the second half. San Antonio is also dealing with a ton of key injuries which will impact them here. This season, the Jazz have struggled against the spread as a home favorite, but this is a different matchup, even though Utah will be above a 10-point favorite once again. In the Spurs losing skid, the average margin of defeat is 15.5 points per game as San Antonio is not keeping games close, especially on the road. This line has little to do with the Utah Jazz and more about how bad the Spurs are. The San Antonio Spurs lose on the year by an average of 10.5 points. Their losing their last five games by an average of 16 points, and they lose on the road by an average of 13 points. The Spurs have been the coldest team in the league as they've been plagued by injuries, while the Jazz are starting to heat up again with four wins in their past six outings. Although the spread is a big number, you just can't overthink it, as this Spurs defense won't be able to stop this Jazz offense. The Spurs don't cover numbers despite being underdogs nightly, so the Utah Jazz to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. San Antonio heads into this game having seen the over post a 35 to 25 to 1 record this season. The Spurs have stayed under the number in 7 of their last 11 games heading into this contest. San Antonio has embraced the running game, which is something unusual for a Greg Popovich coach team as they enter this contest 6th in the league with 101.2 possessions a night while they are 27th in turnovers with 15.5 per game. Utah has seen the overhit in 33 of their 62 games on the season entering Tuesday night, though they have posted four straight on dares. The Jazz have had issues with turnovers all season, ranking 26th in the league with an average of 15.4 turnovers per game. Utah is 12th in the league in tempo as they average 99.9 possessions per game this season. We saw the teams fall well short of the number in Saturday's game and three of the four previous meetings have fallen short. Under the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.